What's up guys, Pat here with SNS Archery. Today, I just want to do a quick overview video about Black Gold's new dual indicator system. You can see here that it has two pointers. Uh, it's a pretty nifty little system that I got to try out earlier this year and set up on my bow. I'm definitely going to run it for the hunting season. And uh, I came across a couple kind of like tips and tricks that'll help you uh, avoid wasting your time when you're getting yours set up. So uh, let's check it out. One of the cool things I got some experience with was adjusting this dual indicator system. It's my first time doing anything with it. And I made a couple mistakes that if I can help you avoid, it'll definitely save you some time. Uh, normally, we kind of suggest people start with their rests at this neutral point here where this is nice and flat. That way your slider can go up or down. So in my case with a three pin slider, it would be you know probably a 40 pin. You could use your 40 pin to go up to like 27 when you're shooting at a 3D archery tournament or something like that. But with this dual indicator system, you really need all of the range to go from top to bottom. I initially set it up the way I just showed you and I can only get my bottom slider to like 70 yards. Um, so the fact that you have two different pins for two different sliding pins means that you don't really need that function. So I can use that 20 pin and go down to 27 if I really wanted to, I don't have to go up. Uh, so this way, you know, I still have enough flexibility to get all the way down to 100. I'm not shooting super fast. I'm shooting like 270, 275, somewhere in there. Um, but so definitely start with this all the way maxed out to the top. And then the other thing I would say is that when you are setting up your pins, you can see these two sliders, the kit comes um, with two of these and two of these. It, it was a little bit tricky for me to get my sight tape in a place where I could get these arrows pointed to 20 and 40. So it's not a bad idea to kind of almost figure that out first before you put the sight tape on. I initially had the sight tape all the way at the top up here and I just couldn't make it work because I ran out of adjustment here. Or if I switched this to a pin like that, so I could get it higher. Uh, the problem I was having was this one was bumping into it when I tried to slide it up. So it does take a little bit of playing to get it to kind of work perfect. But honestly, now that it's set up, I love it. At all ranges, I'm gonna have everything from my standard pins, 20, 30, and 40. You know, you range down to 75. I get a second point of reference. So now my top pin, you can see here is at 60 where my bottom pin is gonna be at 75. I also have a middle pin, which obviously won't be exactly in the middle, but it gives me some range. It's in there. If it was, you know, 68 yards, probably somewhere about there. So it gives you kind of a lot of information and a really simple, clean setup. This double pointer system is gonna be available in pretty much all of our custom sites. And uh, if you check your verdict or Ascent Pro or anything like that, uh, if it has two threaded holes here instead of one for the pointers, you can actually purchase this as a, a separate standalone accessory. Um, the accessory pack comes with two of each style pointer, uh, so you can mix and match and figure out what's going to work for your setup. Um, but again, just make sure before you order that that you have two threaded holes here, uh, otherwise it will not work with your site. As always guys, if you have any questions about this accessory, anything else we sell for your backcountry hunts, shoot us an email, give us a call, and if we don't pick up, we're probably on the mountain.